Do you know this song? You know what it means, right? We're back with another episode of Undertale. The series finally returns. Um, we're not gonna be continuing because we finished it last time. Uh, a name has already been chosen? No. Wait, what? I, I wanna change my name. I guess not. I guess it's a John. I don't know why I called this John the last time. Um, apparently you can't reset your name. Didn't know that. So this time it's gonna be a little bit different. If you remember last time we did a pacifist run, which I fucked up by not giving Undyne water. We're gonna fix that up one day after this playthrough. But now we're gonna kill literally every last one of these monsters in this dark place. None of them will be alive. This time, you've got to become friends with everyone. Okay? If you don't, you'll be miserable forever! <laughs> and we wouldn't want that now, would we? So he remembers everything that happened in the last last playthrough. That's one thing. He knows everything to the last thing. I don't know if I would, like, delete the game and restart it, if he would still know it. But it's kind of weird. No, we just want you to be happy, right? Good luck! He doesn't even attack me this time. Hey, Toriel! Hello. Are you alright, dear? You must be so lost and confused. Oh, do not be afraid, my child. I am Toriel, caretaker of the ruins. I pass through here every day and see if anyone has fallen down. You are the first human to come here in a long time. So yeah, we all know this, we're gonna skip till the interesting parts, just so you know, we're not doing the full game again, I will cut like interesting parts in it, um, but you will also be missing the walking and stuff, if you want a full playthrough, put it down in the comments below, but the plan for now is just the new thing, so when we kill everything, something changes and we're gonna show that off, because it's, it's still a very fun game, and I might actually... Maybe we should stream this when we do the full pacifist run and just have a fun time with everybody and then put a, like a, like a recap on it on the channel. We will see. Uh, but for now, I'll see you guys when something special happens. A special new place. Here we go again. When you encounter a monster, you will enter a fight. While you're in here in a fight, strike up a friendly conversation. Stall for a time. I will come to resolve the conflict. Practice talking to the dummy. Hello, friend dummy. I have some special words for you. It's called a knife. <laughs> Die. You won. You earn zero XP and zero gold. Uh, dummies are not for fighting. They are for talking. We did not want to hurt anybody now, do we? Come on now. So... She's now gonna be a bit like, huh, this aggressive little shit face. But we're gonna continue and be more aggressive anyway. <laughs> yes, we finally can get attacks now. So the idea is we have to uh, go around the whole map, like keep going around and around till it says, but nobody came. Uh, and then you have exterminated everything on the whole planet. Or that's in a room. So, I don't know how many, like, enemies spawn in one room. But it is quite a while of murdering. That's what I'm aware of, at least. <laughs> he dies in one shot, even if I press it immediately. Okay. Oh no. Do we have to kill Napster Blue? God, I didn't want to do this. Nabby. Here comes Napster Blue. Mm -hmm. Our good old friend. The crybaby himself. It's Nabby. Give it up, everyone. <laughs> Our best friend, but he has to die. Sadly. I wish I could keep him alive. I'm fine, thanks. Oh, poor Nabby. 
I don't want to fight you, okay, Nabby? Just, please don't resist, Nabby. It's easier if you just let it go. Please, Nabby. Really not feeling up to that now. Gosh. Poor Napsterblook, man. He didn't do anything wrong. I feel bad for him. Napsterblook is pretending to sleep. Nabby, I'm sorry. Uh, you don't know. You can't kill ghost rights. Oh, okay. We're so dying, corporeal and all. I wish uh, I was just lowering my HP because I didn't want to be rude. <laughs> oh, poor Nabby. Sorry, I just made this more awkward. But then you beat me, okay? Oh. You won. You lost one experience point. Cheeky banker, give it back. Where did it go? Hold on a I have a mis made a mistake. I need to go back. <sighs> Apparently you can't kill Napster Bloke if you do the actual run because he will fade away before you reach him. This is the sign that we wanted. This tells us it's over. No, no one is left here. So we're gonna save for a second. And now when we go to Napster Bloke, we actually shouldn't have to fight him. But now, yeah, he fades away. We don't have to fight him. What's here? Oh yeah, a knife. Oh yeah. Um, how did I open inventory here? Determination. Normally it says more. I I I really don't look forward to this. I'm going to destroy it. No, no one will ever li be able to leave again. Now be a good child and go upstairs. No. I shall not. I will hold my ground. Every human that falls down here meets the same fate. I've seen it again and again. They come, they leave. They die. I won't. You're naive, Charles. If you leave these ruins. You're naive, child. If you leave the ruins, they... Escor will kill you. I'm the only one protecting you. Do you understand me? Go to your room, please. I'm sorry, Toriel. I have to do this. We need we need content. I am sorry. Do not try to stop me. This is your final warning. 
You want to leave so badly? Hmm. You're just like the others. There's only one solution to this. Prove yourself. Fight me. To the death. Prove to me that you're strong enough to survive. Wait. Why are you looking at me like that? Like, you've seen a ghost. Hey, I've seen Napster looks, so I guess that's right. Do you know something that I do not? No, that's impossible. Uh, I might have killed every monster we've come across. Ah, uh, sorry, Toriel. Toriel blocks the way. Easy! 22,000? You really hate me that much? No, Toriel! No! Let me hug you, babe! I love you, Toriel! You're the only real mother I have ever had. Don't leave me. Now I see who, who I was protecting by keeping you here. Not you. But I. But them. I feel, <laughs> I actually feel bad. <laughs> What's wrong with me? Oh, I don't like this. I'm sorry, Toriel. That feels so bad, but let's go to the save point and that does it for this episode then. Gosh, I feel horrible after that. I don't know if I can put the whole genocide run through then. I probably will, but it, it feels so bad. <laughs> you're not really human, are you? No, you're empty inside. Just like me. In fact, you're John I. We're so inseparable after all these years. Listen, I have a plan to become... All powerful, even more powerful than you and your stolen soul. Let's destroy everything in this wretched world. Everyone, everything in these wordless memories. He looks like Toriel. Please don't do that to me. Let's turn them all into <laughs> dust. <laughs> Since when do you talk? <laughs> oh, by the way, I'm sorry for the ear rape. I was very close to my mic. Since when does Flowey talk like that? I didn't know if you could hear it to the sound of the game. But he said, That's a wonderful idea. By Toby Fox. I know, Toby. We've been done this rodeo before. Isn't there just a safe option here? There's a camera hidden in the bushes. Oh. Okay. I didn't check that last last time I played this. So I guess we'll meet uh, a good old friend of ours, won't we? <gasps> it is broken! Who could it be? Is it Alphys? No! That's not Alphys! Who can that be? It is the one, the only Spider-Man. I'm joking. I want to save. Hey, dude. How are you doing? Human. I didn't know the voice I did for him last time. <laughs> Such a funny talk, dude! Uh, the old whoopee cushion in the hand trick. <laughs> it's always funny. Sans is back! Hmm. That's, uh. You're cute to laugh. Or, uh. 
to emote at all. <sighs> well, he gets so tired when I do his voice. Still, I don't know why that is. Gee, laddie, you really know how to pick a man. Okay, that's fine. Everyone's got their own sense of humor. I'm Sans. Hi, Sans. Sans the skeleton. I'm actually supposed to be on the watch for humans right now, but you know, I don't really care about capturing anybody. Now my brother, Papa Pyrus, he's a human hunting fanatic. Hey, actually, I think that's him over there. Have an idea, go through this gate thingy. Yeah, go right through it. My bro made the bars too wide to stop anyone. Big brain. Quick, behind that conveniently shaped lamp. Sick. Um, I was, uh, okay. I guess you don't have to. <gasps> no, 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 we don't, we're not fighting, we're not fighting Papyrus. Have you found a human yet? Sans, have you found a human yet? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Really? Wowie! Guess that's settled. <laughs> God fucking damn it, Papyrus. <laughs> That work out, huh? <laughs> How? <laughs> it's some sort of checkpoint or shanty station. Wait. Ah! But there are bottles of ketchup, mustard, and relish sitting inside? I don't know what relish is. What's with the snowballs? Is he making a pee pee? Is that it? I guess not. I guess they're ice. Well, I'll be straight with you, buddy. My brother! <sighs> My brother really liked to see a human. So, you know, it would really help me out if you kept pretending to be one. I'm not pretending. I'm an actual human. Okay, we can finally save. 16 left. Okay, so now it actually says us how many we have. I guess it didn't uh, work yet in the uh, in ruins because we started off uh, like the first time. So I guess it didn't count it as a genocide run yet. But here we are. An official genocide run. We're saving. I hope to see you guys next time. Goodbye everyone. I hope you enjoyed.